Hey guys, it's Vince. Today is a really exciting day for me to finally release my new AccuScale CNC Robotics Calibration System. I've worked on this well over a year in order to fine tune everything and get it correct. Uh, but it's safe to say, without a doubt, it is the most advanced calibration tool on the market for CNC Robotics. Let's go over exactly what this tool does. And I'm going to actually present a video after this of it being used live on a past client system. One of the biggest issues uh, we have in CNC is the fact that we've only been able to calibrate our machines to an inch typically using a precision measuring instrument like a dial indicator. The AccuScale is designed at length, and you can see this bar right here, and we have a DRO is now remote in the sense that you can turn this unit on, you can select imperial or metric with the flick of a switch, no longer will you be disturbing your tool like a dial indicator, but best of all, this particular AccuScale that I'm releasing is 600 millimeters in length, or for my Imperial guys, 24 inches. Now what does this mean? If we look at this system, it has articulated weighting bases, and what that means, if you look at the UK imported bullseye level, which I've already released in a previous video, which is toolessly mounted using thumb screws, I'm going to show you now Please shoot this, make sure you catch this. Can you see the level? I'm going to pivot now, you can see it's dead on. You got two axes that you can actually center this system. You can center it both on the X and the Y to bring your unit into proper calibration. Now that's what makes this system, uh, or one of the features that makes this system so unique in doing so. Uh, the accuracy of this level is a, it's glass vial, it is imported from the UK, and it is pre-calibrated. Uh, and therefore, it's accurate to two millimeters at two degrees, or the equivalent of 0.33 degree. So again, super calibrated unit. I made it so that this unit can actually come off. You can also check the level of your actual axis prior to using the AccuScale to make sure your actual CNC is level. The other thing you have here is the probe in which will be mounted inside of the end mill uh, position on your spindle inside your collet. This is a five millimeter swivel screw. And why we've got it swiveling is so that you can do fine adjustment when it's actually mounted within your spindle. Now what does that mean? That means that no longer will you be forced to play with a dial indicator where you never know if the tool is actually level. You can only measure in one inch measurements and then on top of that you're able to now measure from the exact end mill position within your CNC rather than actually dealing with a plunger bumping into the side arbitrarily of somewhere on your spindle. Now how the unit works, very simple, just turn it on you would insert the probe inside your uh, spindle collet, tighten it down, and once this unit is connected and this has the cable, it's the remote DRO actually has two magnets on the back. You can place this anywhere on your system, and at will, as this slides, you can see your measurement. What's really cool is that you're right now in millimeters. You can select on the fly to go from millimeters to inches just by pressing a button and never disturbing the tool in which it's set up. The other great feature of this unit is you will be able to check the tracking as your system is being calibrated with the level to see that your axis is actually true and parallel. This is something we've never been able to see. This is brilliant in the sense if you're building CNC's for resale and calibrate with this tool, you're able to calibrate now over a great distance, usually uh, going to be at least in this particular instance 24 times more accurate than a one inch dial indicator because the unit itself is 24 inches. Now of course I can make the accu scale in different lengths depending on the DRO we decide to go with a scale system. I can also make it in smaller lengths to guys that are cutting more projects that require accuracy in excess of four feet and for instance at 24 inches what this measures you would actually only be a variable of two out of 48. And What I mean by that is if you're two thousandths out at a full span of 24 inches, which is the length of this scale, you would be at four thousandths out at four foot. A dial indicator measuring one inch at two thousandths out would be two thousandths times 48. Why is that? Because you have 48 inches. This unit is immaculate when it comes to accuracy and precision over length. That is what I designed it for. And again, 
uh, I think it just has more features than we've ever seen available. It makes it super easy for guys to do their own measuring. Once again, you have weighted bases, the articulating access points to actually center in your bullseye. Once the unit's mounted with the probe inside the spindle, you'll just go in and uh, fine tune adjust which way you have to to get that actual uh, level parallel and you're all set. Do your measurements, you can then check your rapids, you can then check your rapids over distance, which we were never able to do. So again, uh, this is for the, I, I would consider it more towards not a, anyone who's learning CNC unless they're looking at doing definitive product production immediately. This was designed explicitly for guys already doing product production that want the most accurate machine possible and for CNC chassis designers who want to calibrate a system with a definitive tool that they can actually refer to when they sell their system. Because I think a lot of you that have already purchased uh, vendor-made CNC chassis where they make claims of different accuracies, you're going to get to see the truth behind a real accuracy. And what I mean to say is measuring at one inch with the dial indicator and hitting dead on is pretty easy to do. When you measure over a span, you're going to find those accuracies are going to be all over the place for a lot of different reasons. Grease, um, bearing tolerances, screw tolerances, machining tolerances, and if you find indiscrepancy different than what your manufacturer is stating, you can then go back with the evidence and say, hey, you know what, I'm using a tool, I can show you on the tool where we're at, why are we getting this, and this is something guys never were able to see before. So again, uh, I feel that we've covered all bases with this, I'm very proud of this tool. Um, I'm releasing it in small quantities because again, everything is made by myself. So. Uh, there are some uh, areas that I have to work with. Uh, the DROs, once again, and the scale itself is available in different sizes. If you guys need them smaller, if you need them larger, we can go full scale for the size of your table. It's the shipping that we have to be concerned with because this bar is one piece. So just something to keep in mind. I will do international shipping on these as well. But if you're looking for the most elaborate system to calibrate your machine, rest assured there's nothing like this and you're actually getting, like I said, multiple tools in one in the fact that you actually can take the level off. It's just, right now it's got a uh, printed mount and you just pop that off, nylon carbon fiber industrial made on uh, a MakerBot Carbon Fiber X uh, method printer. All of these are engineering parts. So these are steel, everything here is steel, nylon carbon fiber on here. The strength of this unit is amazing. Thumb screws, thumb nuts, everything here is done to make everything streamlined as fast as possible. So again, guys, I hope that the video has been helpful. I hope that uh, I get any questions that you have, and I hope you stay tuned because I'm going to release the other video where we use it live on a client system, and you can see it done, and you'll get to actually see calibration performed and see this tool in action because, again, there's nothing like it. Take care.